So I was talking to Sly about this, and I, I, there's never been like a family connection in these films. Mm -hmm. You guys are the family connection. What was that like? How did you, how was it working with him and building that relationship for both of you? Well, you know, uh, I think um, um, we have this connection since the beginning mm -hmm. because of that. I don't know why, but when I saw, uh, when I uh, began to acting with him, it was a connection real. And with, with that, when, when I um, acting for the first time with Yvette, it was the same connection. I don't know, maybe it's this beautiful moment. It's not all time in our career, yeah. but it was a beautiful moment, a beautiful coincidence, I think. And I know this is different from all the other Rambos. Um, this is the first time where he kind of has a family yeah. and it's not about going off to war, I mean, but it is with the war for family, right? But yeah. um, no, it was it was a little it was a little intimidating because I know this is such a big it's established franchise already. Yeah. But honestly, like she said, the connections between all three of us, he really made he really wanted us to feel secure and confident in our performance. Um, so he just made sure I felt like he wanted us to know that he had our back. And he really put that out there. Well, I think coming, consi considering he's directed the, these before, yeah. this pro did, did you guys feel that, kind of that? He, he, he knows what he's doing. He's he directed. knows what he's doing. He knows what he wants. All the time, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's really great. Truth, thespian, yes. like I've said before. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you. You, ha you play a very pivotal role in this, obviously. It is a very difficult subject matter. Did you do research into what happens to these girls? I did. Every night I was, I mean, I think I traumatized myself a little bit because every night I was watching new documentaries on women and sex trafficking. And although Rambo Last Blood isn't fully about that, it does touch light on that. Mm -hmm. And it's a very important subject because it's really, really big. It's a really big problem right now. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea what these what these girls were going through and yeah. how, how they can be brainwashed and how they feel like they can't leave. And, and so, I mean, I, I feel like it's a great, it's a great thing that they've shed light on this. And yes, I did my research and it's, Terrible! I'm so glad that Rambo touches on this. Well, you did. You did. This performance is so it's it's so charming because you get to see you before and when you get into this mm -hmm. dangerous situation. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Thank really you. Beautiful. Yeah, I appreciate that. With you, you you have a different different aspect. You are talking about the war at home. You're kind of fighting the war at home, knowing this is happening, going away out of your control. What was that like for you as an actor? ¿Cómo fue la, la lucha sí. en casa, no? Sabiendo que hay una lucha al otro lado de la frontera, lo que es mantener la pelea interna y la pelea en la casa. In my real home or home? Rambo's home? In, the, in Rambo's home. Well, in Rambo's home, home uh, Maria has a beautiful uh, line. Uh, she said, the war is over, it's only your head. And you know, I have a really compassion for that man. When I read the script, I, I can understand. This, this pain in his soul, and um, it was beautiful because we have um, this human com uh, connection to do these beautiful scenes. It was beautiful. Oh, she's got...